motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning everyone, welcome to Boswell Race Roundup. We're here today for round 6 from Lime Rock Park in the BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship. In the Z4s it was Barry Bird who took pole for Tech Speed Racing ahead of Neil Bamba and Martin Gwenicke. Now just look at those times in the Z4s, every single driver within a second. To the MX-5s it was Adam Thorne who continued his fantastic run for Bowdoin Solutions. He's ahead of Alan McCain and Matt Toya. Gary Bradshaw didn't set a time this week, but for this week's qualifying lap we're going on board with Neil Bamba and see how quickly he got round here at Lime Rock Park, a 49.6. Bamba had been pushing hard all session and it showed here coming out the final corner and onto the main straight this was his final attempt during the session so here we are on the start of his lap then coming up to the first corner which is Big Bend. Try to keep it nice and smooth and tight through here because it does continue seems like forever then we're going on to a short straight section before we go into the left hander you just see some traffic up ahead the uh, qualifying session in this event is separated so there is no MX-5 traffic for the BMWs to catch up and now coming through right hander and on to no name straight up towards the uphill section of the course it's a very quick lap here say under 50 seconds of the BMWs so up and blind into that come down with a bit of a bump and into West Bend take it nice and tight here don't run too wide because you can soon find yourself in the wall now we're going through the downhill section and into the final turn keeping it nice and tight not going off track this time from Neil so a 49.047 from Neil as he comes across the line now. That's his qualifying lap, let's get down to the race. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. The start of the Z4 race then, it's great to see 24 cars on the grid in total, but it's Tech Speed Racing ahead of MKB Racing Acorn Printing as we get away. Barry Bird maintains his lead and Simon Underhill gets a fantastic start, he's up on the inside of Van Delden as we come into this first corner. There are a couple of Z4s lagging behind, notably Tony Bird and Ian Thorne, we'll come to that in a minute. So I'm going to switch to the start of the MX-5 race then. Keep watching Tony Bird and the second of the Tech Speed Racing Z4s, he's stood still on the grid. Fantastic start from Adam Thorne and Alan McKay with Matt Toya coming down the inside, he's renowned for his starts. So round they go, round Ian Thorne, he'd left his pit limiter on, he soon realised his mistake and whipped that off to zoom head into the distance. So Alan McCain takes the lead round the outside of Adam Thorne through the first corner. Staying on lap one, we're going to move our attention to the other Bowden Solutions MX-5. This is Russell Barnes, he's on the outside of Martin Brandon for Team Clockwork, coming into the left under. Went a bit too deep into there and got the car slightly sideways, on touch with Martin and off onto the grass. Fast forward now to lap number two, this is Barry Bird coming through to complete his first lap. And the big bend and in towards turn two. He was the next one to lose it though, as he came into here he got the power down a little bit too much. Put the Z4 sideways and off onto the grass, that allowed Neil Bamber to go through and into the lead of the race. Barry does manage to keep control of the car though, and he comes in and back on track side of his teammate but there's Ian Thorne he was next involved with him just into the side of Barry's care so Barry off track yet again we move on board with Ian's view of this keep an eye up ahead that's Tony Bird in the second of the tech speed up there just on the left you can see Barry going off the track all the traffic coming through Barry trying to rejoin as quickly as possible Ian tried to dive up the inside but does just tag the back end of him pushes him off the track but carries on with his own race it wasn't just the Z4 seeing early action, it was happening in the MX-5s as well. Francis Winnell giving his teammate Chris Buttrell a tap in the back through into Turn 1. Martin Brandon overcut the corner as well. So Acon Printing and Team Clockwork both off track. Chris rejoins just ahead of his teammate. Moving back to the Z4s, we're going with Martin Gwenicke as he chased Neil Bamba for the lead of the race coming through the final turn. Martin taking more speed through there and starting to catch up on the back of Neil's car. Bamba taking the defensive line down the main straight because he knows that Martin is right hot on his heels. Hard onto the brakes into turn one and around Big Bend. While we're on board with Martin, I'm just going to remind you of a few things that we've got coming up, including our Lucky Dip draw. That's on the 16th of December. Now, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a selection of Bosra goodies, we've got a Poho shirt, some stickers, a baseball cap, a backpack, and a new Bosra mug. If you want to win them, then all you've got to do is take out one of our subscriber packages. They start from only a couple of pounds a month, and it does help us maintain the website and bring them more new things to the league. Next up, if you do enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every new release we make then, you'll get an alert for that. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to keep up with the very latest news from the league. 
So coming through to complete this lap, you can just start to see some traffic ahead with the MX-5s. Pulling past Russell Barnes as we cross the finish line and just up ahead is the team clockwork car of Martin Brandon. So Neil trying to gauge his way past here as we come through Big Ben once again. Neil makes a dive up the inside of Martin, coming through there, ready to go into the next left-hander. Martin Gwenicke follows suit, but Brandon does just catch the back end of Gwenicke's car, forcing him off the track. Gwenicke will be really disappointed with that, because he was giving Bamba a right good run for his money. So we're going to see it from a different point of view. We're going overhead now, and there is Neil Bamba coming up the inside of Martin Brandon, trying to keep out of the way the best he can, but as we go into the left-hander, Martin just cuts in a little bit too much. Both cars taking a spin off the grass. Martin Brandon does manage to rejoin quicker than Martin Gwenicke. Going on to further run now, this is Simon Underhill and Russell Bounds going up the hill. Simon try to make a move up the inside of Russell through there, but it wasn't to be. That put Russell into the wall. Moving to the tech speed racing now, this is Barry Bird again off track, powering through turn number two again, same as he did before, this time further off track and slamming it into the wall. Barry will be really disappointed after a fantastic start of the race. We're going to move to lap number 14, here is Underhill, Bamba and Van Delden or in a line for 3rd, 4th and 5th, coming through the traffic and going up the hill. Going to follow these for a little while as they come to complete this lap. Bamba will be wanting to stay ahead of Van Delden for as long as possible throughout the remaining races of this championship to try and close the gap in the driver of the year standings. More traffic as we come onto the main straight, but everyone keeping out of the way of these Z4s as they power through. Neil Bamba then decides to try and make a move on Simon Underhill, put him right up the inside into turn number one. There's contact between them. They are both off, so that leaves Van Delden carrying on with his race. Simon Underhill ending up on his roof. To one of the best battles we've seen in the MX-5s, it was Alan McCain and Adam Thorne fighting out between Bentley Boyd and Bowden Solutions. Adam had come out of the pit on this lap and caught back up to the back end of Alan's care. Coming onto the main straight, he carries more speed through here and tucks in to get a draft. Adam waiting for the traffic to come through and deciding that now was the time to make his move as we come across the finish line, carrying the extra speed into the first corner, they're both on the brace at exactly the same time, so Adam retakes the lead of the race, there's not a lot that Alan McCain can do about that, he'll just sit behind and hope that Adam makes a mistake later on in the race. We're going to catch up with David Rowan now in the Z4s, he was coming up into the MX-5 traffic on the back part of the track. As he comes past though, he catches just a little bit of the grass, sends the car off and into the barrier, collects Scott Malcolm and one of the Acorn printing cars. Disappointing for David, he did need a trip to the pits. We're moving on to Chris Buttrell as he came up the uphill section. Going slightly too wide through there and rolling the car. Lucky not to collect any Z4s or MX5s. A warning did go out over the radio and the traffic came past smoothly. To our eventual race winner then, it was Van Delden. He takes another win in the 2015 seasons. Fantastic driver from him, he's been ever so consistent, hence the reason he's top of the driver of the year standings. So he took the win ahead of Phil Gregory and Martin Gwenicke coming home in third. A great result for Acorn Printing this week with two of the Z4s in the top three. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. The race results for round 6 then, at Lime Rock Park it was Van Dalden who took the win ahead of Phil Gregory and Martin Gwenicke in third, Acorn printing with two cars within the top three. Bowden Solutions had a good week as well with both their cars of Acta and Thorn in the top five. Motorsport Auctions, first entry Ryan Walker in sixth ahead of Simon Underhill, then it was the Baird Brothers for Tech Speed Racing eighth and ninth ahead of MKB Racing's David Rowland and Neil Bamba. In the MX-5s it was that man Adam Thorn yet again for Bowden Solutions ahead of Alan McCain and Matt Talia. Darren Ford finished 15th overall ahead of Ricky Green and Jan Elizabeth. Francis Linner was next followed by Brandon and Bradshaw. At the back it was Jason Cox in the BMW Z4, he had connection problems and didn't start the race. We move into the second half of the season then at Lime Rock Park and it is Adam Thorne who still tops the driver's standings. He's ahead of Matt Van Delden and Simon Underhill. They have leapfrogged each other into second and third. Scott Malcolm stays fourth with Matt Talia and Martin Gwenicke moving up. Actor also makes up two places. Russell Bounds drops two but Alan McKay makes up the most places this week. He moves up four. Neil Bamba drops down three places ahead of Darren Ford and Phil Gregory. The biggest loser this week is Chris Buttrell. Hafter is off earlier in the race. In the team standings, it's still Bowden Solutions way out front, but Acorn Printing takes second from MKB Racing. The two Z4s in the top three made a difference for them this week. Bentley Boys Racing NX, followed by Team Clockwork, Motorsport Auctions and Tech Speed Racing at the bottom, 30 points separating them. Next week's round seven, we're off to Charlotte Motor Speedway for some night racing there. We'll hope you join us for that in next week's roundup. Thanks ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.